Hey, it's Chris Dale with Morgantown Utility Board. If you're like me, a Morgantown resident, you recently received a trash can from Republic Services, and now you have your old trash can and you're kind of unsure what to do with it. You can't recycle it, you don't want to throw it away, so what do you do with this thing? Well, I recently saw a Facebook post where a woman mentioned she was going to convert her trash can into a rain barrel. Great idea. So I thought maybe I'd put together a quick video to show you how you can convert your trash can into a rain barrel. And I'll give you some tips and also I will actually show you the um, introduce you to the kit that we use in our rain barrel workshops that'll make your life a whole lot easier. So without further ado, let's get to work. So we're back and I have my handy dandy old trash can here. Um, it's pretty beat up. That's fine because it's still um, watertight. So it'll make a great rain barrel. And also you could paint these things and I'll provide some uh, directions below the video on how you can go about maybe maybe painting one of these if, if you wanted to. Before we get started, I just want to talk about a couple things real quick, safety related. The first is a lot of people like to elevate these. And that's good because it can increase the water pressure, um, which can be important, especially if you're attaching a hose to this. However, keep in mind that that structure has got to be it's got to be built pretty sturdy because when full, something like this can weigh easily over 400 pounds. So make sure that structure can can hold that weight if you're going to elevate it. Also, make sure it's in a place that's secure so that children can't grab it and pull it over on them, um, or it won't fall fall over on a person, of course. And also, a cool feature is that it has this flip top lid, which is neat because you can scoop water out if you wanted to, but you got to make sure that you put a C-clamp on it or something, some latch to secure it so that a, a, a child or an animal can't climb inside, okay? So just a couple safety tips before we start there um, to, to keep in mind before you actually start the, the conversion process. Now, this is probably the best tip I can give you, and it will make your life a lot, lot simpler, is to go out and purchase one of these conversion kits. It's made by Earth Minded. It's what we use in our rain barrel workshops and you can get them online. Um, I assume Menards and Home Depot for anywhere between $25 to $30. Worth every price because the individual components of building one of these would cost more than that. And it comes with a great set of directions that makes the process so easy to follow. Um, in fact, I will link to those directions below so that you can take a look and see what you're getting yourself into, which isn't much and really it did this kit makes it simple enough so that anyone can can do this conversion process and it's it, it's made for the average diy type person to to do so also i'll link a video where someone uses this kit to build a rain barrel so made by earth minded i highly highly recommend it what i want to do real quick is talk about some components in this kit and what they're used for I won't show them in the order that you use to install, but I just wanted to, to make sure you're, you're aware of, of the process and what, what really it all entails to, to make the conversion, which really isn't a lot. First of all, I'll show you this. The kit comes with three hole saws, and the directions will show you, tell you exactly which hole saw to use, and it'll even have a circle so you can compare the hole saw to it to make sure you have the right one. Um, the large hole saw is made for drilling a hole into your downspout. Pretty simple, right? The, the medium one is made for the intake on your barrel from the downspout. And the small one is made for the drain plug and the spigot. Okay, so that's pretty simple. It also comes with, and this is what makes the kit worth it, itself is it comes with this diverter this diverter is really really well designed it's really neat because when you get your hole cut into your downspout what you do you pop this bad boy in there it comes with self-tapping screws to secure it and what you're going to note is that if you look through it it's actually you can see, you know, you can see right through. So it doesn't divert all the water, it diverts about 70% into, into your rain barrel. So that 30% still flows through your um, downspout, which helps keep it clean and helps remove debris, 
which is, which is a really cool feature. Also, this diverter is made so that when your rain barrel is full, instead of overflowing, the water will be diverted right back into your downspout and, and flow through it. So you don't get overflows, which can cause all kinds of problems, as, as, as you can imagine. Um, also, in the winter, when it's time to, to put your barrel away, all you got to do is pull this out. And it comes with this handy dandy cap that you put in there, put the screws back in, and bam, it's winterized. Springtime, take this back off, put your diverter back in, and you're ready to rock. Now the kit does come with a spigot and all the components for installing your spigot, your, um, your intake, everything you need has one of these little grommet type things and they're made of rubber and you install them and then for example if this was installed in the in the rain barrel all you got to do is just turn your spigot right into it you can put some soap on it some lotion to help it uh, move a little bit and as you install this it's going to expand it so that it makes a, a better watertight seal so kit comes with every component you'll need to make a rain barrel including the um Diverter itself, which is uh, I think 28 inches long, and this will run, of course, from your downspout into your rain barrel, which is really, you know, really pretty, pretty neat and pretty handy. But follow the directions and keep in mind that it is 28 inches long, so you really don't want to run it much further than that from your downspout. Again, it comes with some great directions, um, easy to use. Anyone can do this, and it's a great way to take an old um, trash can and put it to some good practical use because as a lot of us know, you can't recycle these things and a lot of us are stuck with them, unsure of what to do. So that being said, I hope this video helps. If you need any help, feel free to email me, cdale at mub.org. That's cdale at mob.org. All right, and if you do convert one of these, if you, especially if you paint it or whatever, um, please, send me a picture of it. I'd love to see it or a video of it in action because that would be really cool and I'd like to see it and share it with, with other folks. Um, anyways, I hope this video helped a little bit. If you, uh, again, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be happy to help any way I can. And thank you for taking the time to watch.